Welcome to the world of Lean Six Sigma. Hello everyone, I am MBA Mohit Sharma, your coach, mentor and guide for your Lean Six Sigma needs. I have been hearing this comment over the years that the Lean Six Sigma projects fail to get the desired results or black belts fail to complete their projects. I have over 20 years of experience in process excellence and quality and with my experience, I am going to give you the five reasons why Lean Six Sigma projects fail and what can be done to avoid this. So let's get started. The first number one is lack of management support. If management is not supporting the Lean Six Sigma initiative, then it is impossible to complete your projects. Support and commitment for a Lean Six Sigma project from the leadership of an organization is of utmost importance. Leadership must emphasize the importance of Lean Six Sigma in all forums. Support should be forthcoming not only from the senior leadership, but also from leadership at all levels in the organization. No amount of good intentions, resources, effort or time will make up for missing sustained leadership support. So this is most important. The second one is wrong project chosen. Lack of focus on project selection and prioritization can lead to projects that lack data or business focus. This results in delayed or scrapped projects. So what should be done? Choose a project which is linked to the business and customer's priority. Create a drill down tree and show the linkage between your project and company's goal or customer's priority. Let us take an example. You are going to do a project to improve seed utilization. Company's goal is to reduce the cost of operations by 15%. Then a drill down tree indicating the linkage between your project and company goal will get you the management support. Like in this case, cost is impacted by salaries and benefits, IT and telecom cost, infrastructure and logistics cost, travel and living expenses, depreciation and other miscellaneous expenses. Drilling down the infrastructure and logistics cost will lead to rent and utility cost, which on further drill down will lead to the seat cost. This way you will be able to associate your project goal, which is improving seat utilization to your company's objective. The next one or the third one is scope creep or incorrect scope. The failure of a Lean Six Sigma project can be due to the scope that was too broad. Sometimes teams try to boil the ocean and that leads to their downfall. Narrow down the project scope with the help of a drill down tree as I have already shown that to you and pick up a project goal which is attainable. Teams should also avoid taking a small project scope that could kill the management's interest in the project. Another important point is that scope should be finalized in the beginning of the project. I have seen few projects never saw the light of the day as their scope kept on changing throughout the project. Always get the scope signed off in the beginning of the project by the management. Fourth is insufficient or incorrect training. What I have seen over the years that the process owners are primarily tasked with leading Six Sigma projects. They are generally made champions of the project, but they are not formally trained. As a consequence, they might not feel confident or they lack the specific knowledge to support the project through to completion. Another cause of incorrect training is the importance of learning by doing is not always explored during the training. Some trainings are too focused on theory that they never have the real life project examples in the training. And hence they fail to teach the concepts that are required for a successful project closure. So one advice from me, when you are getting trained, do important steps of your project along with the training. Trainers should also have the provisions for the trainees to do the practice on dummy case studies. The fifth and the last reason is incorrect measurement system. Data and measurement are the foundation of Lean Six Sigma. I have seen in my experience that some Lean Six Sigma practitioners, they neglect to check the validity of the measurement system. They unknowingly rely on a faulty measurement system. They won't get what they thought they are going to get and they won't know why. Always take out time to perform the measurement system analysis during your project. I always recommend gauge RNR before data collection in all the projects. Faulty measurement systems will never let you achieve the desired results in a project and they fail. I hope you are able to understand the five reasons why Six Sigma projects fail. And if you take care of these, then you will have successful project delivery. So friends, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching.